morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Hard Knocks Tarot. Today, I'm going to be talking about what's good. All right, I've been talking a lot about uh, different things that aren't necessarily bad, but just some hard truths. All right, well, this is Hard Knocks Tarot, so there's going to be a lot of hard truth here, and life isn't always easy. A lot of times, what we need to look at is uh, not not the most positive things, right? Um, but today, I want to focus on what is good. So I'm asking our guides to come in today into this reading, mine and yours, angels, our ancestors who have passed, our galactic councils, our planetary family, right? Of course, source, God, Today I'm using the body tarot, and I am going to go through all the signs today, and they will be time-stamped when I get to it, um, because I do want to hit the different angles. Although we're all going through the same energies, we are going through them in different timelines. So they're happening at different times. And the signs helps us to be uh, a little bit more uh, accurate, uh, runs a little bit more parallel with um, with what I'm telling you if we go by the signs, okay? Because I'm reading your angle of the same situation. If that makes any sense. Okay, so the overall energy for our reading today, our combined energies. You know what? Let me just say this. Uh, I'm intending to tap into those people that have subscribed to my channel, okay? Because I'm like I said before, um, I do this out of the need to have been called at this time to do these readings. There's messages that need to be uh, coming out. I don't have any kind of uh, schedule whatsoever. If I'm being called, whether it be four o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the afternoon, I'm here. I, I get my table set up. I sit in my kitchen and I get my cards um, and I start reading. I don't care what my hair looks like. If I'm in the middle of doing my hair, if I'm wearing my pajamas, if I have full on makeup, I'm doing this because I'm being called to do it, period, point blank. Um, so I'm not doing it for the likes. I'm not doing this for the subscribes. But, you know, at the same time, these are free readings. I am taking my time out to um, give you a, a message. And so, you know, why not give yourself good karma and um, good vibes and show me some love, show me some respect if you're going to come onto my channel. Even if you're hating on me, even if you're just being nosy, whatever, I'm not going to know. I don't see who likes my shit. I don't see it. So um, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to love on Aries secretly. <laughs> oh, shit. That's what all of you want, right? <laughs> Is keeping it real here at Hard Knocks Tarot, but yeah, I don't know if you if you like my shit, I don't know it. Okay, <laughs> just so you know. Anyways, that being said, if you want to give yourself some karma, because my guides they love me, so um, they will love you if you show me some love. You can believe that. Good things will come your way. Anyways, that being said, I am very grateful for all of my likes and subscribes. It's not a lot, and I don't care. It's beautiful. And uh, let's get started. So the overall energy, the first thing we got was the ear, and what do you know? It's the lovers card. Spirit, can we get away from the topic of love anytime soon? Because I wouldn't mind that at all. I'm just saying. All right. So let's see. That's good. That's a good. That's a good. Okay. What do we got here? I'm not reading reversals on this deck. It's not showing reversals in the book. This is, again, a new tarot deck for me. It's called the Body Tarot. Okay. Celebrating the magic of your body and tapping into the wisdom of your subconscious. Okay, so um, the next one is the two of metal. In this deck, metal and earth are both pentacles. This one is the two of metal. So this is the two of pentacles, boldness. Boldness. And seven of pentacles, achievement. What do you think, Collective? The Lover's card? Talking about the ear? Got the number six on here, on the card. A number of healing. The ear, listening, taking in. The Lover's card. Relationships. However this resonates with you. Two of metal. Boldness. 
someone's going to speak up. We're talking about communication here. We're talking about communication between two lovers. We're talking about getting the balls to say something. Seven of Earth and it being fruitful, it being a good thing. That doesn't mean that you're going to get back with somebody, but it's a good, it's a positive outcome. Good shit happens. Good shit happens from it. <sighs> All right. I'm kind of going back and forth on whether or not, you know what? I'm going to use my yes or no dice and whether or not we're going to be doing simple, uh, a simple tarot where I'm, 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 uh, speaking to the collective, all of you, no matter what sign, or if we're going to go through the individual signs. So just give me one moment. I'm going to go get my dice. Okay. I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. I'm a simple woman. I get excited over little shit. Okay, ready? <laughs> all right, that's enough. All right, ready? Yes or no? If it's a no, if it's a no, we will stick with the all signs collective read and go on with this with this initial energy with these three cards as a collective. Or if it's a yes, then I will go ahead and do the individual signs so we can get it from each angle of the energies, different energies and different timelines. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. It's a no. I know it's hard to see. That's a no. No, we're just going to keep it moving like I have been, like I wanted this channel to be, which is no signs. So sorry to trick you there. <laughs> All right. So I really wanted to get a little bit more info on this ear because it's the very first card. It's the most important card as well as the last last card. That's the, uh, also a very important card. So let's just read this one real quick. We're talking about the ear. It's in relation to relationships. It's the lover's card. Element of water. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. All right, let's go. When we think of the ear, we think of listening, and that is definitely a core requirement in healthy and happy relationships. However, the inner ear is also key in balance. Yes, yeah, staying upright literally and metaphorically is indicated by this card. When you consider what your personal values are, you arrive at your own morality and sense of, light, of right and wrong. This may not tally with the rest of society's notions about a moral code, but the important thing is that you respect your own decisions in life and stick to your own standard of behavior. Often a decision or dilemma arrives with this card and you must consult your rational rather than emotional thoughts on a matter before you decide what to do. When met with two equally desirable outcomes, instead of worrying about what you might be missing, embrace the choice you make as the only path there could have been and commit to it passionately and without regrets. Without regrets, collective. Everything happens for a reason. Our guides are telling us here, whatever has happened in this relationship with your romantic interest, with your person, you know who I'm talking about. It is something that you, if it's something that you feel you needed to do, Spirit says, follow through with no regrets. Follow through. Because that person is going to react the way they're going to react. And everything happens for a reason. If that person doesn't like what you did or said, and they decide to stay away, then that's what is meant. That person is not right for you. Not at this time anyways. But if they come back, if they feel the desire, if they feel the whispers of desire in their ear, if their guides are telling them, you need to rush in. You need to rush in. If, you're, if their heart is leading them back to you, then that also is meant to be. Okay, everything's purposeful. Please hang your hat on it. It really, truly is. That is one of the things that you can count on in the midst of all of the fucking chaos. Please stand steady on the fact that everything is 100% purposeful. Every fucking thing. Down to my birds arguing every time I'm trying to do a read. <laughs> okay. So... What you did or said, what you said more than likely, what they heard, is causing a balance in the energies. It was necessary. Okay, your boldness was necessary. And you will be successful in what your intended outcome is here. 
All right, don't forget, what's this read all about? What's good? What's good, collective? This is what's good. You made the right decisions. You made the right decision for you at this time. Let's get more on this lover's card. What's going on with this? What happened with this conversation? Spirit, give us more detail on the topic of this conversation. Spirit, freshness, six of wood. Interestingly enough, the six of wood, the wood is swords. I wouldn't have guessed it. I would have thought that the wood would have been wands, but no, it's wood. And I go right to the, right to the exact page. Freshness change. So a change of scenery will do the world of good. Even if it is just a mini break, you have started to feel a little isolated and perhaps even disconnected from your fellow human beings. So going to a place where you need to interact with new people and see new things will refresh your sense of the world and your place in it. If your partner or family are not willing to come along with you, take a leap of faith and go by yourself. You may find you speak to even more people if you are by yourself. This is so true for me personally. I am so much more high vibe when I'm by myself. I have a smile for every creature that is crosses my path. And um, a lot of the times um, I get messages from God through other humans, you know, also known as earth angels. They don't know they're being used by God. And, you know, they fill up my cup. They fill it up. They give me energy. They're, they're giving off, you know, wonderful vibes. And even if someone doesn't have good vibes, you know, I'm walking around my neighborhood. And there's a lot of homeless people. And they're talking to them themselves. They're all fucked up on drugs or whatever. And, you know, there's an interaction, money or just conversation or whatever. And that fills me up having that conversation with them because it's something that they need. It's filling them up. And I can see that just the conversation alone is giving them energy, is giving them love, giving them power. And that is very fulfilling. So freshness. So collective. <sighs> what I'm hearing here is you are very attracted to these new opportunities. I'm getting a very full energy from this. This is a full energy. When you are on the outside, you know, not necessarily somebody that anyone would point out as to have a lot of things or a lot of support, but no matter that, you're still holding a lot of positive space for yourself and others around you. And you're, you're feeling like a healer right now, collective. And you're being called to spread the light, not only to your fellow sister or brother, but especially this lover, your person. You might not think that they're listening, but they are, if not in the 3D dimension, definitely in the 5D dimension. Okay, you're speaking telepathically. You are giving this person whew, <laughs> electrical shocks of amazing energy is what I'm feeling. And this is good. What's good is you. You are good. You're giving this person a fresh way of looking at things, a new start, be okay that it's okay to make changes. You're not losing yourself anywhere along the way. Giving opportunities of balance, balancing yourself, listening to your guides, hearing them. It's fresh. You're fresh. Your ideas are fresh. Right? Proud of you, collective. This is what's up. This is what's good. Let's get more on this freshness. Let's get more. Four of metal. Four of pentacles. Acumen. Acumen. I want you to get the full message of these. So that's why I'm looking. Um, because it talks about different things. This is a different type of tarot deck. And so it's a different type of reading, okay? Consciousness choices. Have you ever stuck with lottery numbers because you superstitiously believe that the second you change or stop playing them, the numbers will come up? This is what you're being counseled not to do through this card. Take a close look at your finances and plug any holes that are there just because you're always done it or sign up for it. Make conscious money decisions and you will attract greater luck to yourself. So having to do with stability, being aware of your choices 
Is this something that is going to add to my stability or is this something that is going to take away from my stability? Let me give these spirit says. Give these a little shuffle, so I'm gonna do some shuffling. Thank you for that information, ladies. Oh, I haven't taken off the bedding yet. All right. Let me show you my birds. Oh my goodness. All right, of course they don't do or say anything when I put the camera on them up. All right, so these cards came out. Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. What's good? What's good is when, I'm trying to keep it positive, guys. This is what's good. What's good is you are building your stability, collective. You are going to have money coming in that is going to allow you to have freedom to do a lot more things. And this is going to attract people to you, okay? People are really down and out. They're feeling insecure. They're feeling unstable. But you, my sweet subscriber, my new subscriber, <laughs> you are gonna have the means to help them, okay? This is gonna attract people, your success, your successful attitude, your successful bank account, your successful stability. It's going to attract people to you. It might attract this person that, you know, that you had a thing with here. This person, you didn't necessarily have a bad thing, okay? We assume that this is someone that you don't talk to because a lot of the time people come to tarot because they'd rather not talk to that person. That doesn't have to be. Not in this read. Definitely, you and your person need a fresh view of the relationship. You and your person need a vacation together. You and your person need an adventure together. If it was meant to be, that's what is needed. That's the ingredient that's missing. Some freshness. Some new, uh, some newness, okay? Getting rid of the old, nasty energies and creating new memories. Awesome memories. Memories that will contribute to the stability of the connection, not destroy it. Soon you're going to have the means to be able to do this. Soon, if not already, you're going to have the means to enjoy that freedom because you're going to be stable, mind, body, and spirit, and it's going to bring abundance. You're going to have the opportunities to bring in that freshness. And it's going to bring in people, new people, and people that you are already familiar with. They're going to come in. They're coming in. But spirit says there is a reason to be bold, to not beat around the bush. This is no other than the stomach, the justice card, fairness, balancing out the motherfucking scales, motherfucker. It's my favorite. Boldness in justice, my beautiful subscribers. That is what I'm motherfucking talking about. All right, definitely diving into the stomach of boldness justice, fairness, consequences, legality, earth, 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. The stomach is the powerhouse of the body. It is now thought that we have a secondary brain of sorts in our gut that is responsible for all the processes that happen there. Have you ever eaten something and immediately known you were going to be sick? That's the stomach telling you swiftly what is good for you because you may have sniffed what you ate and thought it was fine, but the stomach has better judgment than you and has rejected what you ingested. In the same way, this card is about sound judgment and swift, decisive action. Society decides together in democratic nations what their laws should be. Yeah, right. We then follow those, or not, depending on our personal, personal morality. This card indicates the consequences of our actions, motherfuckers. Whether that is a broken contract or a criminal act, this can be a very positive card to draw if you have been the victim of crime, as it can indicate that justice will result. But this interpretation does depend on where in the spread the card lands. In any case, at least you do know that all the arguments will be weighed and the judgment will be a considered one. So listen. I don't care what any motherfucker says. We indirectly... bring about justice indirectly we don't have the right to bring on oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this and that this person you know is gonna see some karma today <clears throat> no mm -mm. that's not what it's about that's not what i'm about if you think that get the fuck out don't be in my energy that's not what i'm about that's not what what spirit is all about that's not what it's all about it's not the way you don't have to do anything you just have to keep doing good justice will serve itself that being said the choices you make Depending on your intentions, what are your intentions? Asterisk, that's a fucking huge factor. That will change anything. What are your intentions and your actions? You will bring about justice if your intentions are good. Yes, nod with me. Yes. <laughs> I'm annoying, I don't give a fuck. Um, you love me still. Um, yeah, so, you're, so Spirit is saying, uh, be bold. Be bold in, in uh, your convictions, you know, stand tall in your convictions, be fair, listen to your intuition, listen to your gut, what is your body telling you, if your body's telling you that it is not the way, it is not the way, if your body's telling you it is the way, it is the way, this is a skill that you could numb out in a way if you don't want to take any responsibility for your life but it's also a skill that can be built on and could be very very powerful and could allow you to manifest magic manifestation to bring about something that wasn't there before positive things into your life because what we focus on is what grows so be bold in your beliefs speak up speak out speak truth speak justice speak balance don't hide. Don't be scared to stand up for yourself. Don't be scared to stand up for others. Don't be scared into an idea or a way because it's just something that you've always done. Break the chain of what didn't work, what hasn't worked, and bring some freshness into the situation. Something's obviously imbalanced here. And what is imbalance? Energy is devil energy. Because that's all it is. And we all know that. That's addiction. That's feeling stuck. It's aggravation. It's temptation for things that don't serve you. Drugs. You know, over, over, over sexual appetite, being promiscuous, not um, respecting your body, not respecting other people. You know, you know what devil energy is. <sighs> Once you are able to do this, because a lot of you are feeling very guilty, you will open up, you'll be able to drop the chains and you will be free to will be able to feel the freedom that you have because right now the guilt the guilty chains are tight they're tight around you because you haven't spoken justice because you've been living in fear but spirit says once you tie once you rip those chains away and you're able to come out of this fear and be your authentic self and step and move forward with positive intention 
money's coming in, bro. Money is coming in. Money will come in. But you have to know that you're worthy of it. And you don't feel worthy of it because you've made shitty judgments. But not sterile. Shadow work, baby. You have achievements. You have success in your future collective. Let's see what else is going on here. Too many cards. Another messages you have for my viewers today, my new and my loyal subscribers. Thank you, Spirit. The Ace of Pentacles. Just clarifying the achievement card. Just clarifying what I just fucking said, okay? Harvest. It's your time to achieve. It's your time to gather. It's your time to harvest what you sowed. Listen. A lot of you have been making positive changes, and you're going to see this. You're going to see this in money because your guides, God, source, the most high, wants to show you, wants to let you know, hey, you're being recognized here. The good things that you're doing, they're not, they're not done for, you know, you're doing it um, out of the goodness of your heart. And I see you, and I want to praise you. I want to make things easier for you now. And so spirit is going to do this with abundance. It's coming. Things are going to start getting easier. Opportunities are going to be coming up left and right for you to get more stable. Okay, that means money. That means home. That means relationships. New things are coming in. You are going to be recognized by your spirit guides and you're going to be um, rewarded for the changes that you're making. Woo! Too many. Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. So your stability, Collective, what Spirit is telling me right now is that your stability is very wrapped up in a situation that was, that is stagnant, that has stopped. There is some stalling energy here with the Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot, okay, there's a lot of blockage here, all right? A lot of abundance, constipation, and it's because you're not letting things flow naturally. You're not, you're still looking back. You're still not 100% grateful for the experiences, for where you are right now. Stability is a big thing, and your money is important. But I'm hearing you're being a little bit greedy as far as the process, as far as how fast you're not trusting the process, collective. You're causing yourself a blessing constipation by holding on too tightly to an idea, an old way of looking at things. You need to shed that shit off. Again, freshness. Because right now, it seems like you are in a bit of a rut. You're sitting by a tree. Maybe thinking, poor me, at times. You still have some work to do as far as living in the moment. And that's where this freshness is going to come in. You have to have the mindset before, like it has to happen here and here before it's, you're going to see it out here. Okay. Let's move on to uh, this freedom card. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with this nine of pentacles, please? You have a lot of pentacles. A lot of pentacles. A lot of good ones. All right. So a lot of you are making some good money right now, or you will be. But your attitude about certain things is getting in the fucking way. And more than likely, it has to do with a romantic relationship because we started out with the lover's card. There's some bit imbalance, some imbalance when it comes to this situation. It might involve friends because of this three of cups here. Um, but justice needs to be served. Justice needs to be spoken. Justice needs to be um, uh, made, okay? Decisions have to be made here. 
you can't walk the line for every situation, okay? This is a very dramatic uh, example, but, you know, the death penalty. The person, the judge, that decides whether someone deserves to die because they killed somebody else. That is a decision that has no gray area. Just like, you know, there there is a lot of gray area to life. There are some things that, no, there are some things that have no gray area. Okay, that is my belief. There is no gray area in some things. And that is what I feel Spirit is telling us right here. You cannot walk on both sides of the situation, whatever it is. You have to make a choice. There can't be a gray area here. And this is a this is a choice that is going to be forever. You have to, you know, it doesn't mean, and if it means cutting off someone, because it doesn't necessarily have to be, it could be cutting off a way of thinking, a cutting off a place or a thing. But if this is a someone that you need to cut off to bring justice about, then that doesn't mean that you hate them. It just means you don't agree with what they did and you do will not condone and you will not you will no longer back up that energy. You will not be there to enable the thought for them that what they did or what they said or are doing or are saying is okay. You're no longer supporting the ideas of someone else that are not justified. You're using your throat, you're using your gut. You're listening and you're using all of your senses, senses to bring about justice, to bring about what's right, to balance the scales. Okay, that is what spirit is asking you to do, to have some fucking nuts, male or female, and to do what's right. Rationality, seven of cups. Spirit is reminding you not to go off the deep end with this whole freedom thing. To stand your ground because Seven of Cups is a very elusive kind of energy. You don't know what's real. You have a lot of options. You have a lot of uh, things coming your way and you're just, you're confused. You don't know what to look at. You don't know what's good or bad. You don't know what's, what's right for you, which path to take. And spirit is said, in your freedom, in your freshness, make sure that you keep a steady head. Make sure that you come at this rationally, that you don't go off the deep end once you get off of the stagnation. Because you could be in stagnation and still be a fucking firecracker because you're in stagnation. Okay, You could be waiting for something and you're not getting it right away. And so you're just going to go the other way and just be like, woo, fuck it. You know, and just totally be oblivious that you're about to fuck yourself and put yourself in a really shitty fucked up situation. So Spirit is just reminding you, yeah, I'm sending you money. I'm sending you cool people. I'm sending you a stable life. I'm sending you positive vibes, an opportunity to embrace all these things. But don't fuck it up by taking it for granted. Because that's where you are right now. You're taking things for granted. So once you do get these things, once you unplug your blessings... Spirit says you just might go off the fucking deep end thinking that you're the shit or just being irresponsible with your new blessings. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because justice is still being served. Yeah, to all of us. Justice is served not out of evil. Justice is served because balance is what Mother Gaia is all about. I love Steve's Love Tarot when he says, why, are, why am I not your first favorite energy reader? Can I be your second? The Temperance card. I was just talking about balance, okay? This is the spleen. Temperance card is the angel card, the angel energy card. Keeping, talking about healing, talking about balance, talking about moderation and vigor. This is another earth card. The spleen in the early 17th century was considered the seat of ill humor and melancholy. So to vent your spleen was an expression meaning you aired your anger or negative feelings. However, this is not the truth of this organ. It is vital in the fighting infections in the body and promoting tissue healing. 
being so key to bringing the body back into balance. This card indicates that a moderate approach is one that is needed now. It's definitely the opposite of venting. Taking a calm and steady approach will gain the best results and enable you to heal any divisions you are currently experiencing. Okay, it goes on, but I'm not going to read it. So on top of being bold, on top of being, bringing on the justice, as far as um, your, free, your new freedoms go and your new abundance, not only um, are you to be irrational and uh, and on what you're getting and, and how you are operating, but also to keep a steady head. <laughs> it's the same shit, okay? Except this is specifically speaking of how you're delivering your message. So you can be bold and beautiful and handsome and confident, and you can be very stern and to the point and passionate, but you don't have to be a dick about it. You don't have to be an asshole. You can still speak and move very effectively in power without yelling, without going off, without venting. This is something that I need to work on, to be honest. I, I have a temper at times when I am being not treated fairly. You know, yeah, it's painful. And a lot of the times I can reel myself in. I have come to, I've grown, I have uh, matured, I've raised my vibration, I've learned to and practiced holding back, showing uh, some self, uh, I can't even think of the word because it's so, <laughs> it's so uh, against my nature. But yeah, self control, self control, right? Oh my God, it's hard, it really is. I'm right here with you guys. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to talk down to you at all. I'm walking with you. I hope you know that. But yeah, things don't always have to be in um, capital letters in bold with exclamations. In fact, you're most heard, you're most effective with a very soft, calm, focused, um, rational energy, right? Because someone's not going to listen to you if you're looking all fucking crazy. They're going to say that bitch, that guy is, is crazy. We, we don't need to listen to him. <laughs> He's just crazy. <laughs> all right. So that was the message there. Harvest. What's good, collective? This is a reading of what's good. Holy shit balls. Judgment. This talks about your muscles. This is going back. To what already ended and looking back on it with new eyes because you got 10 and 10 there which means there was already a completion a completion times two which means you've already completed now you're going back looking at it with fresh eyes get more I hope you're enjoying this reading so far. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your energy. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you um, have been loyal to me <laughs> um, for the last couple years, I thank you for staying a, uh, a subscriber. Please like the videos. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to say it so other people can get the readings and blah, blah, blah. No, it's showing me love, and I appreciate love. I appreciate your love. So thank you for those few people that are showing me love. You are appreciated. Okay. Calling, reckoning, rebirth. Another earth card. Muscles are not just the biceps we think of in a gym enthusiast. They help us breathe and defecate, hold us up, support and moderate, and do the heavy lifting. Muscles are form and function all in one. When we find our purpose in life, we often name that a calling, and the muscles have answered their calling throughout our bodies. Similarly, this card may indicate that you are being drawn to a career that you previously had no notion of doing. Receiving this card as a reading allows us to discern for ourselves what is the best way forward. We can exercise our judgment, safe in the knowledge that we have the wisdom to make the right choice. That decision will often lead us to a place of renewal and rebirth. It is not always comfortable. If you have been kicking a difficult decision down the path, hoping it will go away, this card says now is the time to deal with it before you store up any more problems for yourself. When you finally commit one way or another, the stars will align to help you see what you knew all along, that you always had the strength within you. <sighs> Not pushing away what you already know 
you need to do. Judgment. Looking back at a situation that is painful that you don't necessarily want to look back on, you are being pushed by your guides to look at the situation again and make a final judgment, to make a final call, to answer the call, to answer the calling, to make a black and white, to follow through with it. You're looking, you're being called to look back at this situation with new eyes, with the information that you know now, and look at it again and ask yourself, is this the way? Do I want to continue this way? Or do I want to do or say something that is going to change this way? Judgment card. Paired up with harvest and achievement. It's just going along with what I was saying. You have a lot of unfinished business here that is causing some constipation of your blessings because you're not bringing in the justice. You are not speaking up your truth. All right? You are getting lost in things that don't matter. You need to get grounded. You need to get grounded. We've been talking a lot about you and what you need to do, collective, but you've got some posses. You've got some people around that want to come in or that are in, that are peeking their fucking heads in. Okay, what's good? What's good about these friendships here? What's good? Three of Cups. Tell us what's good. This one came out first. The Eight of Cups, which is interesting. We're clarifying a cup card with a cup card. Maybe this is a cup card too. Let's see. Nope. It's none other than the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Earth. This one's wealth. Wow. So you got two Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Metal, which means that people are charming you. People are trying to come at you and offer you a cup, offering you different things. Offering you jobs, offering you a relationship, offering you opportunities, offering you stability that you have not been satisfied with. You're, you don't like the offers that you are getting. And then you got another ten of pentacles, which straight up means abundance. Straight up means wealth. Cheddar, cheese, money, the Benjamins, whatever you want to call it. So... You're going to be seeing some friends. This is just, this clarified with this, what I just said. All right. What I'm feeling here is that there's going to be people that are going to want to collaborate with you in one way, shape, or form to make money. What's good? What's good? What kind of movement are we talking about here? Moving away from friends, possibly? Moving away from the riffraff, possibly? The star card. Hope. The small intestine. I just opened right up into it. I just opened right up into it. Clarity, giving. This is fire energy, y'all. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The small intestine connects the stomach to the large intestine. It absorbs nutrients and water from the food we eat so it can be used by the body. The shifting of all that is good and distributing it is the energy of this card. There is abundance at last. After a period of fear and famine, finally the storm breaks and a most beautiful dawn appears on the horizon. You can practically smell the hope and potential in the air. My cards don't lie. I'm very connected to the spirit realm. This makes complete sense. The cards are confirming each other here on the table. You look see. All right. People are going to come to you asking for help. You need to be very aware of who you want to help. That's what I'm hearing. Because you're going to have the means to help these people, and these people are moving towards you, collective. They need your stability. They, have, they need, want what you have, whether it be money, stability, wisdom, love. We started off with the lover's card. But you are very attractive right now. Very attractive. You are bringing people in. Liberation. And it's because they know that you're on the verge of something fresh, something new, something amazing. Something that is going to give you freedom. That is going to allow you to make choices and have choices. But don't get it and don't let it get to your head. Speak your mind with this new power. But don't shout. Stay grounded. Stay grateful. Get grateful if you're not. 
get grateful right now because none of this is going to happen until you do period point blank liberation you're breaking free of old thought patterns of old beliefs of old things that you used to hold on tightly to that are actually you're finding out is shit let go of the shit we want to buzz in some honey we don't want to buzz in flies all right so get rid of the shit you know what i'm talking about fuck that you're done with that choose you choose love choose to give to what's good What's good? You're good. You need to decide that you are. Black and white decision. There's no gray area here. It all comes full circle, baby. Let's get one more card. This is our last card, Spirit. What's our last, very last card, please? Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, Coco. Thank you all for being and joining me today. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. If you'd like to see more of me. Aries here. Or not Tarot. What do we got here? Six. Six of Cups. In a regular tarot, my friends, this is missing somebody. This is nostalgic energy. This is family. This is a friend. You're missing somebody. This is our very last card. This is a card of nostalgia. This is a, this is a card of innocence. This is a card of softness, of um, tender, tenderness, of being comfortable, of feeling at home. You're missing this. You're missing it. <sighs> Take action. I'm, that's what I'm getting. Take action with heart, with good intent, with a soft spoken voice, with clarity, with honesty, with love. Thank you for joining me. Once again, this has been Hard Knocks Tarot. You've just been spanked by Aries. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, namaste.